Thunderbirds. The Big Freeze. The search for more efficient methods is continued at the island base of international rescue. The Thunderbird machines must be equipped with instruments that can overcome the most orderous weather conditions experienced by man. Mastermind behind research development is Brains. Are the, are the conditions right for the Arctic test, Brains? Yes, Mr. Tracy, the weather is ideal. On top of the world, a blizzard raging over the world army base known as Camp, Twin, Camp 21st Century, which is 50 feet beneath the ice cap. In the command sector building, a top level conference is in progress. Conditions will be at worst tomorrow afternoon. I recommend the green light. Agreed. Laser missile destructor will be operated at 400, 1400 hours Wednesday. Gentlemen, if these tests are successful, we'll have achieved a major breakthrough in the extreme weather defense program. Yes, sir. I'll issue a clear, the blank, kit clearance order. International Rescue's orbit, orbiting satellite picks up the radioed message. Now hear this. Maxim security order. Imp Imperative polar regions 7, 8 and 9 are avoided. John relays the information to Tracy Arndt. Down about five to base. Camp 21st Century has put up the flight bands to all airlines and communications, Father. Thanks, son. We'll be well clear of that area so our polo test can continue as planned. Eighteen hours pass. Okay, Scott. You're familiar with the new Arctic and Sub Zero systems, number one. Yes, Father. If Brains is right, we'll have no trouble. Yes, Father. If Brains is right, we'll have no trouble with the polar weather. With a final warning to stay clear of Camp 21st Century, Scott lifts off. <laughs> 1400 hours approaches at Camp 21st Century. 21st and 21st and three to target Mother Greenland. Ignite missile. Course 743 Polar. Roger. Roger 21st century. Greenland is a World Navy missile carrier. The missile. The missile flies into the trim into the treacherous weather, guided by a fixed path. Then, activated from beneath the ice, twin laser razors seek out the missile. One missile finds the, one ray finds the missile and holds the target. Next, next second, the other ray makes Contact and <laughs> despite the awful conditions, the lasers have found to destroy the target. <laughs> Emergency red missile out of control, crash course, reactor building. There has been a disaster at Camp 21st Century, a World Army Arctic base under the ice cap. A wayward missile has crashed and destroyed the nuclear power plant. 
a shock wave travels downwards like a blast furnace jet <sighs> hits the reactor and explodes <sighs> Instantly, Camp 21st Century is plunged into cold darkness. Switch the emer switch to emergency pa plant. Hurry! We'll all freeze to death. The station generator is activated. How long will it last, Sergeant? Two weeks, Lieutenant, but batteries must be must be kept to maximum charge level. An immediate conference is held by the base commanders. This is the situation. The fire in the reactor chambers is still burning. Yes, General, but we might confine it to the anti-radiation shields. The flames won't get through those lead walls in a hurry. Let's hope the blaze burns itself out. Our immediate worry is to get a new reactor up here. And that little box of tricks will have to come from Baffin Island. The urgent radio calls from the top of the world are monitored by John in Thunderbird 5. I think they'll have trouble, Father. The conditions roll, roll out any help from conventional aircraft. On Lake Tracy Island, Jeff listens to his son. Their only way is by sea. Right, John. Link, be in with Thunderbird 1. Miles from Camp 21st Century, Thunderbird 1 is undergoing sub-zero instrument checks. Where's the Thunderbird 1? How's it going, Scott? Great, Father. With the new equipment, I could set Thunderbird 1 down on a darn no place at the North Pole. You might have to. I want you to check out Baffin Bay Sea conditions. Thunderbird 1 turns to head away from the bitter Arctic weather. <sighs> At Camp Ada, Ada, Baffin Island, Captain Terence Button receives his orders. Right, Captain, you know the urgency of this mission. Get that react. To, to camp 21st century have failed. Yes, sir. Leave it to me. Icebreaker Shackleton starts on his 500 mile journey northwards. <sighs> Progress is good until instruments instruments recording unusual severe ice conditions ahead, sir. Can't be helped, Lieutenant. We'll have to take chances. This, the Shackleton, is an icebreaker, you know. The chances are no good. We're losing speed. Yes, sir. I'm afraid we're not going to make it. Disaster has struck Camp 21st Century, a World Navy base beneath the ice polar cap. A wayward missile has crashed into the nuclear power plant and the only, and only, Diesel unit saves the camp, saves the camp's thousand men from terrible weather conditions. The nuclear reactor chamber is still an inferno. Anti-radiation shields seal and contain the fire. There is only seven days fuel left and Icebreaker Shackleton has that amount of time to deliver a new reactor. As the ship strikes further northwards, progress diminishes. The edges are full power, sir. It's not fast enough. We'll never make it in time. In a narrow region of the polar wastes, Thunderbird 1 has been on Arctic trials. It's really bad up here, father. Thank goodness I've got the new polar navigation equipment on board. I'll do a look for the Shackleton, Scott. Hopeless, Father. She'll never get through that ice. Fire goes down. 
Virgil is standing by. Thunderbird to me need to ferry fuel to the Arctic. Those men will die if that generator fails. At Camp 21st Century, Army scientists keep constant watch through the actor chamber shields. Phew, that fire will last for months. Yes. Say, Frank, this part of the shield is weakening. Look at the reading I'm picking up. Suddenly, the scientists rush to the command sector and within minutes, a warning echoes through the ice tunnels. Emergency priority one. Reactor chamber has fractured. Radiation risk. Alarm red. This is deadly serious, gentlemen. No one can leave the protection of these buildings. Oh, General, I don't feel so good. I... <sighs> the scientist collapsed. General, this man has radiation sickness. General, this, ge this man has radiation sickness. He must have been contaminated when the... Shield cracked. Outside, the raging blizzard continues, whipping away the eddies of sparks that leap from the reactor's waste shaft. A cinder careers over the ice, and it is drawn into the air take and air intake shaft. The fans break up in the cinders, but sparks reach the diesel. Generator fuel stores. All power is at an end. A frantic radio signal from Thun from Camp 21st Century reaches down about five. One thousand men are helpless. They're trapped below the ice and will either freeze or be contaminated. There don't seem to be any hope. They're all doomed to a terrible death.